this a common crime here? No, this is the first time that we ran into a situation like this. Tonight, the Van Buren County Sheriff's Office says it's dealing with a crime that deputies have never had to investigate before. News Channel 3's Maria Serrano joins us live in studio to explain why the Sheriff's Office says it's a useless crime, but it is still a crime, Maria. Andy, Erica, Van Buren County detectives say they mostly investigate drug crimes. Tonight, they're investigating a cryptocurrency crime. Deputies say several Bitcoin mining machines were stolen months ago, but the sheriff's office says they were recovered in the basement and garage of a home near Pawpaw. Lieutenant Casey Davis says it's a useless crime. Unless you are very knowledgeable in the background of these and very knowledgeable on how to set them up. Uh, this is literally scrap metal. Scrap metal for those who don't know how it works. I mean, people think that they can take these machines and that they're just going to hook them up to a computer and they're going to start immediately dumping money into your account. And it's not like that. Police say these machines use algorithms to mine for Bitcoin and dump money into a cryptocurrency account. And they're extremely valuable all on their own. We were told that those were um, 10,000 per unit. The Van Buren County Sheriff's Office says nine units were stolen from a single business in the area. Detectives say they've been working on this case for a month and finally got enough probable cause to get a search warrant inside the Papa home where the stolen machines were found. In law enforcement, every year we're adapting to different trends, diff different technologies. Lieutenant Davis says he doesn't think any Bitcoin was actually mined, but he hopes this doesn't become a new trend. But it's something that possibly could become more common because each one of these machines range anywhere from $10,000 to $13,000. And um, they said that if Bitcoin is doing very well in the stock market, then the machine will sell for more. Right now, no one is behind bars. The Van Buren County Sheriff's Office is putting a stack of complaints together to submit to the prosecutor who will decide whether to authorize criminal charges. Those could include receiving and concealing stolen property in addition to drug charges because deputies say they also found meth during their searches. $50 million on the table to make improvements at Whalen Union Schools in Tuesday's upcoming election. The district asking voters to approve the $48.5 million bond. News Channel 3's Lexi Petrovich live in studio this morning to break down how that money would be used and what it would cost to make it happen. Lexi. Kirk, good morning. About $30 million of that chunk of money would go towards building a new aquatic center and community pool and also creating a larger fine art space for students who are in band and orchestra. These are two school programs that officials tell me have about doubled in size over the last 10 years. The district says their current pool is nearly 50 years old and beyond its useful life. The money would also be used to make safety and security upgrades, improve technology, and provide more opportunity for students in career tech, things like wood and auto shops at the high school. Decision and helping Wayland Union Schools provide this community asset is something that will have great impact to all of the area students. Truly, in Wayland, uh, Wayland Union Schools is looked at as a resource, a recreational resource for the community, for all athletics, and this would just add to that. If voters pass the $48.5 million bond proposal on Tuesday, they will not see a tax increase. Superintendent Tim Reeves also says the design and development process would start right away. Still ahead at 630, we'll hear from a student about the state of the district's current facilities and what she hopes to see happen as she enters her freshman year at Wayland Union High School. Silent Observer is offering cash, more cash for tips to solve murders and other violent crimes in West Michigan. Information leading to an arrest in a shooting and or murder is now worth hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars to the tipster. Our Treasure McCauley is live at the Kalamazoo Department of Public Safety to tell us why police say they need all the help they can get these days from the general public, Tricia. 
Nine people were shot at a party where there were more than 200 people here in Kalamazoo over the weekend. Today, KDPS tells me they have no suspects. No arrests have been made. No one is coming forward with information. And two more people were shot on the city's north side on Monday night. Again, the same case. No one is talking to police. Investigators say they need information from the community if they want this gun violence to stop. Dion Floyd would have turned 25 next month. He was a son, father, and friend. He was shot and killed in Grand Rapids in 2020. No one has been charged for his murder. Please give us some closure because this is what we go through every day of our lives. We wake up with it. We go to sleep with it. Floyd's family begs for answers. I know certain people go by street code. It's called snitching. No, it's not. It's called telling the truth. My son was an innocent person. Police say the no snitching mentality is why many shootings go unsolved. After nine people were shot in Kalamazoo over the weekend, Chief Vernon Coakley asked the public to come forward with information. What happened in our community is unacceptable. My ask is for our community to give us some tips, give us some information, so we can begin to hold those accountable for their actions. One way to report tips anonymously to police is through Silent Observer. Some people are just so afraid. They're so afraid of retaliation. They're so afraid of being found out. But the beauty of Silent Observer is we don't know who contacts us. The tip line gets around 2,000 tips a year that helps solve shootings, murders, and other serious crimes in West Michigan. Reward amounts have increased to get more people to share information. Tips are, are, have been better and they've been more detailed and more specific and we've been able to assist police in solving uh, some of these cases. Silent Observer says tips have helped solve two murder cases in Grand Rapids in just six weeks. And now it's easier than ever to report tips by simply dialing star star tips. Your neighbors deserve a safe city to live in. The families of crime victims deserve justice. People who now submit a tip for a murder can get $3,200. If you submit a tip about a shooting that caused serious injury, you can get $2,000. And if you share information about a shooting that caused property damage, you can get $750.